to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. Before we begin today's episode, I want to clarify some important points. I am a licensed real estate agent and my DRE number is 01853445. It's crucial to note that this podcast operates independently of my affiliation with Keller Williams Realty and any realtor associations. My primary goal with this podcast is to provide you, our listeners, with valuable information, insights, and practical tools. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound, and I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing, and I think it'll work out. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get this started. So today is social media, internet leads, and we're specifically talking about the script, answering your social call. And I will go ahead and set this up. In this scenario, You respond to a lead who contacted you through social media. The lead is interested in learning more about the home buying process, but feels overwhelmed. You engage them by providing information on pre-approvals and recommending lenders, setting the stage for a future consultation to discussing their home preference and start uh, start their property search for them. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. Let's have... Emily, uh, start us out. Yuri, you're the one reaching out. Uh, mm-hmm. And so Emily is going to respond to you. Okay. No, okay. I'm sorry. Yuri is going to, re- yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. Confusing myself. All right. So when you're ready. Hello, my name is Emily. I'm with Keller Williams Realty. I noticed that you reached out to us through our social media channel. Uh, how can I assist you with your real estate needs today? Yes, Emily. I saw your um, Instagram posts about helping first-time home buyers, and I'm interested in learning more about the process. Awesome. Um, and your your name is Yuri. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Well, I'm so glad you reached out. Buying your first home is such an exciting journey. And we're here to help you every step of the way. Um, what specifically would you like to know more about? Um, I'm not sure where to start with, but I have heard about pre-approvals and down payments, but it all seem a bit confusing. It is. It can be. Um, but I completely understand the home buying process can seem overwhelming at first. So let's start by discussing pre-approvals and what you'll need for that. Have you spoken with a lender yet? Or would you like a recommendation on a reputable reputable one that I work with you can contact? No, I haven't um, spoke to any lender yet, but I'm open to recommendations. Well, I can provide you with a list of trusted lenders to contact. Um, Once I have your pre-approval in place, I can start looking at properties with you that are within your budget. How does that sound? That sounds um, like a great plan. Okay. Well, after you've secured your pre-approval, we can schedule a consultation to discuss your home preferences and start the search for your dream home. Would weekdays or weekends work best for you for this consultation? Um, Weekdays are better for, for them. Okay. Weekdays. Perfect. Um, Well, let's plan on meeting Thursday around six o'clock for a consultation. 
I'll send you a confirmation with all the details. And in the meantime, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you make an informed decision and find the perfect home for you, okay? Thank you. I appreciate your help. You are so welcome. I'm excited to assist you on this exciting journey, and I'll see you Thursday at 6. Have a wonderful day. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Yuri, you want to do that? Uh, yes. Hello, this is Yuri with Keller Williams Realty. I noticed you reach out to us through our social media channel. How can I assist you with your real estate needs today? Oh, hi. Um, I saw your post on social media about helping first-time homebuyers, and I'm interested in learning more about the process. We're glad to reach out. You reach out. <laughs> Buying your first home is an exciting journey, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. What specifically will you like to know more about? Um, oh, it's kind of confusing. I, I know there's, I heard something about pre-approvals, mm -hmm. down payments. I'm just really confused. Yes, I completely understand. The home buying process can seem overwhelming at first. Let's start by discussing pre-approvals and what you'll need for, need for that. Have you spoken with the lender yet? Or would you like to, would you like recommendations and reputable ones to contact? Um, yeah, I've not spoken to any lenders. Um, a recommendation would be great. I'll provide you with the list of trust lenders to contact. Once you have your pre-approval in place, we can start looking at properties within your budget. How does that sound? Um, that sounds like a great plan. After you've secured your pre-approval, we can schedule a consultation to discuss your home preferences and start the search for your dream home. Will weekdays or weekends work best for you for this consultation? Um, uh, probably weekdays, actually. Great, weekdays. Let's plan to meet this um, Thursday at 6 p.m. for our consultation. I'll send you a confirmation with all the details. In the meantime, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out. We're here to help you make informed decisions and make and find the perfect home. Thank you. I appreciate your help. You are welcome. We are excited to assist you on this exciting journey. We'll see you this Thursday at 6 p.m. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Nice. Very cordial. Yeah. Like Any questions about this? Um, the only thing is, if they're confused about, like, I know it says we're going to send them lender comfort or comps recommendations. Maybe we should go a little more into that because that's what they're asking about. Mm -hmm. um, just based on the script. Yeah. No, that's fine. We can definitely do that. And and pre-approval or um, down payment assistant. Because it's what it mentions. You know, we can say lenders can help you with different. I don't know. Might make it too long, though. Um, it, it could, right? But you could bring up a good point that it seems when... like it's skimmed over here. Like, oh yeah, just talk to one of these guys and then you know we'll meet on Thursday. <laughs> well, the other way around it is let's meet and then we'll bring everybody in too. You know, we'll we'll bring in the lender and then the lender can meet with them while you're there as well. I've done that. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is way better, in my opinion, because now you have everybody in front of each other and you're all talking. The lender can ask the lender questions and you can answer the realtor questions. But I really, I, I, I agree with you. It uh, it does skim over it because of time purposes, but it is a conversation that needs to be right. had. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I noticed. Yeah. I, I am agree. curious. I Go agree. ahead, Yuri. I agree with Emily, but I don't know what to say about approvals and down payments, like the information. But I agree with Emily. Everybody agrees with Emily. That's right. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, as Yuri, as time goes on, you're going to develop certain things to say. Uh, mm -hmm. And you'll realize that when it comes to lender questions, you'll want a 
a, a fairly basic foundation understanding of how loans work and things like that. But when you're getting into the details of loans, down payment assistant programs, then that's when you would refer to the lender mm -hmm. uh, because that's their responsibility. But, you know, to ask questions like, you know, have you been pre-approved? How much have you been approved for? for? Do you have a pre-approval letter? Um, and then asking for the lender's contact information, then you can contact the lender and you can have that discussion with them. And, um, you know, so it, it goes deeper, but uh, I, my suggestion is to also develop a relationship with a lender mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, call them, talk to them and ask them questions and let them guide you on how you should be having those conversations as well. Oh, yes. Thank you, Doreen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's do it again. Let's put it in our own words, though, this okay. time. And you're welcome to say whatever you like, Emily. About lenders and down payments and stuff. All of it. All of it. Yuri, give her a hard time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but just okay. a forewarning, if you do that, she'll, you know, we, we got to do it, it again. You give it back. <laughs> All okay. right. Um, okay. You're ready. ready. Yep. Hi, my name is Emily with Keller Williams. Thank you for reaching out to us on our social media platform. I see that you're interested in learning more about buying your first home. How can I assist you with your real estate needs today? Hi, Emily. Yes, I saw your social me media platform and I'm a first time home buyer. Um, curious and interested about the what's the learning process. Would you please tell me like a brief um um summary or explanation about what what is the process? What kind of loans do you have? The down payment that I that I need according okay. to income? Yeah, I I would love to help you with that. The first step you want to do is find a great agent, which is me, and then I can connect you with several different lenders. You want to kind of shop around for your loan. Um, a lot of them, they will tell you how much you qualify for based on your financial um, background, what you have. Um, do you have a down payment in place? Or are, you, are you looking for down payment assistance? I'm looking for a down payment ex assistance, Emily. Okay, awesome. There are so many programs um, that can help you. And the, the lenders actually can find the best one for you. So I recommend connecting with them first. And they can kind of go through all um, your financial stuff. They'll tell you what you what they need from you, like tax returns, W-2s, you know, how long have you been at your job? How much do you make? And they'll get into all the details about that. And then they'll put that all together and tell you how much home you can comfortably afford to buy and which down payment program works best for you in your situation, because everybody's situation is different, Okay. Okay. Um, so it's really important that you connect with a lender who that you have a good rapport with. In my opinion, it's, mm -hmm. it's like a realtor, you know, we partner together. I work for you and I, I work hard to do the best job that I can for you, but we have to have a good relationship and really good communication. Okay. Okay. I think that's really important. So what I'm going to do first Okay, is send you out um, three lenders that I work with all the time. And and by the way, all the rates mm -hmm. can vary a little bit. So that can change your payment monthly. Um, understand. Yeah. So let them know um, what you're comfortable paying every month. And they can that will help guide them as well into what you're looking for. So let's get that done first. They can, they'll give you a pre-approval letter once they plug in all your numbers, but you have to send them everything they need. Sometimes, you know, they need certain things to get all this together. So you have to be kind of diligent in providing all the paperwork for them. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to check fun. back with you. And let's see, today's Thursday. Why don't I call you Monday to see what's going I'll call you Monday afternoon if that works. And then we'll set up a consultation with just you and me after you've kind of talked to the lenders and see what 
they can do for you as far as purchasing your first home and getting that down payment assistance, okay? Actually, Monday doesn't work. Um, no? Okay. What's a good time I, for you next week? I prefer um Wednesdays. Um, okay. Late afternoon. Late? Like five? Uh, six will be better. Six is better? I can do six. Okay. So, and that'll give you a couple of days to get all this and talk to, you know, all of them and kind of see what they can do for you. Okay. Emily, thank you. I appreciate your help. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I look forward to talking to you on Wednesday and then we'll go forward from there. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. How was that? She explained me not completely, but she did awesome. Did that make sense or was it too much? Yes. No, I wanted to know more about um, like uh, down payments, what type of down payments, assistance. You wanted to know more details about the yes, different. This details. is what this is what I mean. Like um, she can tell you about that there are down payment assistant programs, mm -hmm. um, but it's best to talk to a lender about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. because when we go when we start getting into the details of specific types of loans and things we really shouldn't be the ones advising on that it should be the lenders uh we we can let our clients know hey there's all sorts of different programs out there there's conventional va fha you know if you're native american there's uh hud 184 uh, there are down payment assistant programs too um, that a lender can discuss with you. But as far as getting into the different types, now we're getting into the weeds and trying to understand how the engine are runs versus mm -hmm. just knowing that we can just turn the key and start the, start the motor. Um, a lot of down payment assistant programs depend on your income. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't require that you give me your income, but lenders do. You're giving all your financial information to the lender mm -hmm. so they can direct you for the right program in that respect, because there's different ramifications for different programs. Mm -hmm. So we cool. just say like the specific ones, but not the details and we connect them with the lender. Um, right. Because mm -hmm. they're going to know how much you make, mm -hmm. how many people in your family that can kind of determine also if you get to, how much you get for down payment assistant, how many people in your family, things like that. So they're going to go into those details. I'm just the person who's finding the home mm -hmm. and doing the paperwork on that end. But the lender does all the financial stuff. And then I work together with the lender. Once they say, okay, UD qualifies for this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she'll send me a letter and then I can move forward finding your home that falls into that range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, and the other thing is your 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 well by staying in your lane, meaning focusing on real estate, mm -hmm. uh, you're putting them in touch with the experts, uh, the lenders, and you. The last thing you want somebody to do is come back and also point the finger at you and say, "Hey, you told me to get this type of a loan." Oh. You explain, and so by removing yourself from that situation and putting them in the hands of a lending professional than mm -hmm. that, because that's their job. And when you're also referring out lenders, give out at least three people, you know, two people, just more than one, let's put it that way, two, two to three people, and also let them know that they can use any lender that they want in, whether it's a friend, their bank, whoever it is, because in the same mm -hmm. line of communication, we want to say, you know, that they're open to using any lender and you're willing to work with any lender. We don't want to pigeonhole themselves into, mm -hmm. into one specific uh, company, lender, vendor, whatever. You mm -hmm. want them to have options and you want them to make the decision on who they are going to choose. It's not right. you choosing for them. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying that, um, Darren and Emily. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're welcome. All right. Are you ready to go again and put it in your own words? Yes. All right.
Hello, this is Judy with Keller Williams Realty. I noticed you um, reach us through our social media channel. How can I help you with the with your real estate needs today? Uh, yeah, I saw your Instagram post. Um, I, I'm curious if I can afford um, a house. My rent's going up and I'm looking to purchase a home to kind of get out of renting. And I saw you do a first time home buyer um thing you help first time home buyers so i was curious if you could help me i'm glad you reach out to us um and let me tell you buying your first home could be an excited but tough um si uh, situation mm -hmm. uh what specifically do you need help with well i know uh, uh, it it talks about pre approvals and down payment so i kind of find it all a little confusing. Can you help me with that? Definitely. Um, yes, it could be very confusing and overwhelming. Uh, let's begin by um, discussing, have you been approved or, because you're gonna need that, a pre-approval letter. And I was wondering if you have spoken with the lender yet or do you need no. a No, no, is that what I should people? do? So I should, I should talk to a, a lender? Uh, yes, but I'll provide you with um three of our three lenders that are um well known and reputable. Okay. And once you have your letter of approval, we can start looking at properties um according to your earnings, your income. How does that sound? That sounds great. Okay, great. After you once you have your approval letter. We can schedule a consultation and we can discuss um, like what is the home of your dreams that you're looking for. Okay. And then what about if we schedule a consultation for the weekend or this weekend or during the weekdays? Um, Maybe, yeah, maybe next week. Great. So let's plan uh, to meet up um, next week. Did you say weekends or weekdays? I can probably do Tuesday. Tuesday. Would 6 p.m. Um, be good for you? Yeah, that's fine. I, mean, I can do earlier, too. I have the day off on Tuesday. So Tuesday. anytime on Tuesday. Tuesday at 2? Sure. That works. That works better for me. Great. I'll send you a confirmation um, letter, email. Okay. And so we can discuss, like, any concerns that you have. And meanwhile, if you have any questions... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm okay. here to help you and to make the correct decisions on finding your the the perfect home for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. I'm excited to assist you and helping you with this um journey. Um, Thank you. And I'll see you Tuesday at two p.m. Have a wonderful okay. day. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. Oh. All right, Yuri, how did that feel? A um, little bit better, but just kind of rush. Um, so, yes, I had to find like the words. You felt I like you were rushed? My vocabulary. <laughs> you felt like you were rushed? Yes. Wow. I didn't, I, I thought it was a fairly normal conversation. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel, feel like... like you were rushed. Mm -mm. I try to do that, like to have a normal, like, how would I talk like mm -hmm. more casual conversation, but I feel that I need more vocabulary. Um, mm. Yeah. Well, the more you practice, the more smooth and easier it'll get. Mm -hmm. you know? So just keep coming to the scripts. That's why we're here. We practice, you know, because I mean, I'm, I'm assuming English is not your first language, right? So it's not. Even people speaking English get tongue tied and say the say it gets uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we're learning how to respond to these questions because this is all a new thing. Yes, as a new real estate agent. So don't worry about that. That's it's going to get easier. Yes, I believe you, <laughs> and I trust yeah. Darren and you. Thank you, Darren. You're very helpful. Well, and you're. you're well, you're welcome. I, I do want to uh, just say it again, though, because I feel like you were, you sounded pretty normal. 
you know, mm-hmm. and natural, not uh-huh. normal. Let's just say more natural. Um, mm-hmm. But Emily is absolutely right. A lot of these scripts, not not one of them, not one of them is ever going to sound like you. Never, mm-hmm. you know, they just are there as a guide, uh, and through repetition, through consistency, um, you get better and better and better. You know, being that English uh, was not your first language or is not your first language, when you first started to learn it, I'm sure it was very, very choppy. But oh. after over time and practice and consistency, you're probably the best one here to learn <laughs> the script <laughs> because you understand what it takes to learn something and do it consistently. Uh, because if you only practiced it once a month or once every couple of months, which by the way, a lot of real estate agents out there only do that with their scripts, mm-hmm. then it's going to be very uncomfortable for you. And you'll probably really never learn English at all right. without practicing it consistently. So somewhere along the way, you obviously did a great job at learning the English language. And now you're looking at scripts and dialogues And Mm -hmm. look at it this way. You're just learning a new language as it pertains to real estate. Yeah. Yes. And what what is your native language, may I ask? Spanish. 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 Okay. Yes. So as I'm reading this scripts, I'm trying to put on, get on their toes. For example, like, it's confusing. Everything is confusing, like the home buying process. So I'm like getting into like, the perspective of the person like mm-hmm. like i'm trying to get in in the real character uh-huh that's that's what i'm trying to do yeah there's a lot of acting going on here and we have to you know <laughs> we have to uh every once in a while put on our acting hats and mm-hmm. that's that's what it is you know um without being fake either obviously but we we do have to play that role and uh and i think you're doing a good job at it really thank do. you but what i meant is that i rent so i could be like the real home buyer and mm-hmm. yeah like asking all those questions like i'm interested i yeah I learn so that's what i mean when i'm trying to get on their toes like that's good though because then you can see it from the other person's Perspective. perspective and what you need to learn and and how to tell them yeah that's good <laughs> absolutely yuri have you gone through the home buying process in the presentation the the all the different steps uh no you know where to find that though right um i'm not sure would you tell me yeah when you're on the website uh just head over to website resources so you have the so at the top and there's a blue bar and it says dashboard roadmap calendar resources. Oh yes, I see it. Click on resources. Resources. Click on buyer presentation. Yes. And there's two things you should look at. One, there's a black bar that says explaining the home buying process and 15 steps. Oh, okay. That's a script. Okay. And then two, if you click on the big picture that says buyer presentation download, and if you go to slide five, there is a slide that explains all the different steps in the home buying process. Okay. And that script in that black bar that you could click on, it goes along with this home buying process. And every once in a while we practice it. So that's the actual process. Yep. Okay. Yep. Step by step right there. The only one that's, well, I don't want to say it, but the only, the only step that's a little iffy is the step 13, but that's the whole process. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll take a look at it. Thank you, Darren. Take a look at that slide. Take a look at the script. Mm-hmm. And I think you'll get more comfortable and understand it from your own perspective as well as the buyers that you're working with. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. So good job. Thank you. (laughs) You're welcome. I see you. Okay. Emily, thank you. 
Yeah, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, let's meet up tomorrow. Awesome. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, so that's the script. I hope that you found it useful. Just head over to realestatescriptspractice.com for more resources and downloads. This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, mentor, CPA, or attorney. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall, California DRE number 01853445.